It's very difficult to predict just how long reserves of oil will last for. And in a world dependent on cars, new ways of propelling vehicles have to be devised. Current discoveries of oil last for 40 to 50 years, but as new finds are made, that just rolls on. But eventually, sometime, it has to stop probably not in our lifetime, so car makers are devising economical alternatives to the combustion engine. The Honda Insight is one of those cars and will go on sale in the UK this spring. It's a hybrid vehicle, so it uses a tiny three-cylinder 995cc petrol engine alongside an electric motor. The two work together to provide the Insight with realistic performance. It's a super clean vehicle with what they call super ultra low emissions, different from a zero emission vehicle which would run solely on battery electric power. Although battery powered cars are clean and a familiar sight on the roads of California, the problem is how long the power lasts for before needing to be charged again. Enter the hybrid vehicle. The Insight is not the world's first hybrid car. Toyota have their Prius small medium-sized saloon car, which has been on sale for 18 months in Japan and will also come to the UK soon. The Insight, like Audi's A2 and A8, is an aluminium car, which contributes to a large weight saving, weighing in at just 835 kilograms. It's perhaps the shape of the car which takes most getting used to. But it's the Insight's economy which dictates that. A very low drag means near 90 miles per gallon, 750 miles on 30 pounds worth of fuel. The Insight looks very much like other electric cars, and I can think of one produced by General Motors a couple of years ago, which seems identical. It's also not unlike an old Citroen. The Insight uses a battery specially developed in conjunction with Panasonic. It weighs just 20 kilograms and produces 144 volts of power. It's the size of two shoeboxes and should last for around 10 years. The battery only charges to a maximum of 80% to prolong its life. And because it's a hybrid vehicle, it recharges whilst on the move. Honda engineers in development decided that the Insight must have the performance of a 1.5 Honda Civic, which was used as the benchmark. It's no use having this sort of technology if the car has the performance of a milk float, which it certainly doesn't. 300 patents are pending on the Insight, such as its revolutionary design. So, what's the Insight like to drive? Well, very good. You could be forgiven for thinking that this sort of vehicle wasn't fun, but here at the Croft Circuit in Darlington, those fears were easily dispelled. It's fairly quick, it's quiet, it's responsive. Sure, you don't get a kick in the back under acceleration, but the car responds well. Handling and ride are also surprisingly good. So, if you want a car that is amazingly economical, environmentally friendly and good to drive, the Insight might be just the car for you. Hybrid vehicles have certainly come a long way. And don't worry, this is no milk float.